yo what's going on this is your boy tambourine panda coming back to you with another gaming review video this time we're going to be talking about i got a treat for you this time panda fam we're going to be talking about two two video games for the price of one in today's review we're going to be talking about little nightmares one and two a 2.5d puzzle platform horror adventure game by developer tarsiers published by bandai nameco now as far as the gameplay is concerned this is a platform game at its very core a puzzle platform game at its very core with a lot of very very good horror elements to it uh, the atmosphere and this will tie into the graphics section of the review for both of these games a little bit later the atmosphere as far as the aesthetic the setting that you run around in is dark very hard to see in creates very foreboding atmosphere where you feel like you can always have something jump out at you or something run up on you out of any every any dark little crevice or corner or nook or cranny and that's really really cool it definitely makes the player feel very tense through the entire gameplay there are obviously little down moments uh, little moments during the gameplay where you can especially in the first gameplay where you can find little secret crevices and nooks to find these little gnomes running around where you can pick them up and hug them or little save spots to to put your lighter in so that you can you can kind of checkpoint or save where you're at other than that though the game is a pretty straightforward shot uh, you basically play this character you have nothing but your sprint key your lighter and your wits and your stealth as far as the second game is concerned this doesn't this format obviously doesn't change very much from game one to game two and i should state uh the first game came out april 28th of 2017 the second game just came out about well less than a month ago actually february 11th of 2021 so again less than a month ago for the second game to come out and with there being a four-year difference they they really have they haven't really done much as far as as changing the gameplay from first to second game and that, that's not a bad thing in this particular case it worked really really well for the first game and why fix something if it's not broken right so they kept the same aesthetic the same kind of gameplay there's a little bit different element to the gameplay in the second game where you have a flashlight instead of a lighter you end up getting this a little bit later on in the game whereas in the first game you have the lighter right away and it's very helpful for dark places uh it kind of makes the second game a little bit more challenging and that during in the really dark areas of the game without that lighter or that flashlight it can be very tough to see some things uh and can be kind of spooky when something jumps out the only other difference between the first game and the second game is you actually have an opportunity to pick up weaponry in the second game there's a part where you run around or a couple of parts where you run around with a hammer and you can smash little like mannequin dolls possessed mannequin dolls and it's creepy and it's awesome yeah, you want a, you want a piece? You want a piece? Of God damn right! <laughs> yes! Oh, I can actually inflict damage in this game. That makes me so happy. And it, it gives the player kind of a sense of retribution uh, to the game. Instead of just running away from everything, you actually have the, uh, the the feeling that you you know you can kind of fight back in some of these situations. There's a particular scene in the second game where you're running away and you hide in this shed, and there's a double barrel shotgun in the shed and you know you pick up that double barrel shotgun and you end up blasting one of these creatures that's essentially chasing you bro say hello to my little friend oh yes that was awesome we just blasted his ass and you, you get it again you get a nice sense of satisfaction there you know you've you've escaped you've you've killed the thing that's chasing you but you got to keep going forward so it's it's really cool little little difference that they added in the second game as far as the the gameplay is concerned the first the first game revolves around a little girl by the name of six who is escaping this ship called the maw and she wakes up from a nightmare and she sees this geisha looking woman and she wakes up and the adventure starts right away 
you start it on your adventure you pull on your your little raincoat <clears throat> you know you have your lighter in your pocket and away you go and it's just a matter of of getting through these particular levels and working your way through this ship called the maw uh, to get to the end of the game now there are little things along the way where she gets really hungry and towards the end of the game it gets kind of creepy where she starts like actually eating living things and flesh and it's very odd there are also as i mentioned earlier the little gnome creatures that run around in the game that you can kind of pick up and hug and and find those creatures uh there's little lanterns that you can go to with your lighters kind of little waypoints or checkpoints that you can that you can mark for yourself in the first game uh the second game offers a bit of a different thing you can get little uh they're almost it's hard for me to find the proper word they're almost like uh shadows or silhouettes or or echoes of of kids that have have maybe been taken by the maw or taken by this this evil thing and and you can you can get those kind of as secret little unlockables you can find different hats for the sec the the game's second character to wear um and the game's character the second game's character is named mono and that's a boy and eventually you end up finding six who is being held by this character called the hunter and that is the character that i was referring to earlier where where i was talking about the shotgun where uh you know we go into the shed and uh we pull out the shotgun and, and end up killing the thing that's chasing us which is the hunter and and this particular story evolves and, and it seems that maybe the boy from the dlc of the first game is mono in the second game not entirely sure on that uh certainly there's some credence to that as as the boy from the dlc i understand was chasing after six or following her her escape uh, so it, it could very likely be that the boy from uh the dlc is mono in the second one and you end up finding six in the second one who is again being held by the hunter you release her you you get her and then she ends up uh, helping you throughout the rest of the game and this this unlocks some different gameplay mechanics than the first game where she'll help boost you up into places that you couldn't reach or if there's a long jump she'll go over to the other side first and kind of reach her hand out for you to, to grab onto to, to make that jump and whereas if she wasn't there you wouldn't be able to make it sort of thing so it it, it opens up a different kind of uh mechanic or it it, it adds it 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 takes everything that the first game did well and just adds a couple of newer little tiny little mechanics for the gameplay for the puzzle aspect uh you know of this platform horror game moving on to the graphics of the game they are back in 2017 when the first game released the graphics were very good for that particular game when it when it came out um and really the second game didn't do much different as far as the graphics are concerned except for improve upon lighting features and textures in the game it felt a little bit more realistic uh there were outdoor areas in the second game whereas you're pretty much confined to that ship in the entire first game uh, but there's outdoor areas in that second game where they're beautiful gorgeous you're running through the grass you can see things in the distance and that's why they that's why this this game is is considered a quote 2.5 d because you do get a little bit of depth there but not much and only really if the game wants you to have it like you can run up and down away from the screen towards the screen and left and right but only when the game wants you to to have that depth so it's a really cool really cool aesthetic and the second game takes everything that the first game did really well and just kind of improves upon it a little bit again this isn't this, it's not to say that a game like this needs to make great strides we're not talking about you know going from a red dead redemption 1 to a red dead redemption 2 or a final fantasy 7 original to a final fantasy 7 remake here where the expectation is going from you know a, a console three or four generations old to a console that you know not that's that's current gen console nowadays this game is only these games are only about four years apart little nightmares one was made on i'm not sure what it, it was made on the unreal engine it was made on the unreal engine little nightmares one was made on the unreal engine as was of little nightmares two so why you know why why take something that's not broken and fix it right so as far as the graphics are concerned again beautiful 
beautiful graphics in the game with this game too i i hold the graphical integrity a little bit higher because the darks and the lights and the lighting and the way that things reflect off of things and your lighter and your flashlight and all that and the little tiny textures and details all kind of play into the aesthetic and the the overall atmosphere that the game itself is creating as far as the horror adventure and the game does it really well it does it really really well they did a very good job with the graphics now as far as combat system is concerned and i've been doing these reviews now i've done a couple of these reviews and and we always talk about these different categories gameplay char character and story graphics combat system and the developer this particular game doesn't have a combat system the first game is completely devoid of a combat system combat system is your ability to outwit the puzzles that the game throws at you that's about the best way that i can put it the game itself you're combating you're using your brain to combat the game's puzzles that's about the best way that i can put that it's non-existent you have your lighter in the first game you get a flashlight in the second game you can use the flashlight in the second game and I, I believe the lighter in the first game or a mirror that you end up picking up later on in the first game as kind of a way to stop or freeze enemies but other than that in the first and second game you don't really get too much now i did mention earlier in the second game there are some parts where you can pick up a hammer and smash like possessed demony mannequin creature things and there's that shotgun part that i've referenced now a couple of times but other than those moments there really isn't much in the way of like taking something and smacking an enemy with it moving on to the developer we're going to talk about tarsier studios the developer of these games this is the this is probably the ip that they're most well known for little nightmares one and little nightmares two but they've created a couple of different ips little big planet ragdoll kung fu dc comics premium level pack little big planet series it looks like uh, as well as tear away unfolded and the stretchers and static as well too so they've created a few other ips but again this one's the one that they're most known for they were founded in 2004 and they really did a great job with the first and second game i'm i've got to give them a lot of credit they did release a dlc for the first game that offered three additional chapters and it kind it, it gives a different perspective of that first game uh from uh, a different child's standpoint so it, it, they, they release new content for it i don't know if there's any plans to release content for this particular game little nightmares 2 and they have stated like i, I stated earlier or said earlier that they are not planning on making any more sequels but bandai would like to continue with the ip and bandai is the publisher that owns them i do wish there was a little bit more behind the storytelling they leave a lot a lot to the interpretation so as far as a final score is concerned for this particular game i would have to give it an 8 out of 10 and here's the reason why it doesn't score any higher than that for me one the games are extremely short if I were to have played the DLC, my guess is probably about 15 hours of play between the two games. As it stands without playing the first game's DLC, I am at about 11 hours total between those two games. The story and character development, yes, the ending of the second game is pretty incredibly awesome and kind of meta, and you'll just have to go check that out. What I wish they would have done is maybe painted a little bit more background into how these characters got into that position what happened and i guess maybe the mystery of it, it adds to the the horror behind the game itself which which could be a thing but for me i would have liked to have known maybe a little bit more into the background of the characters especially considering how the first game ends and then especially considering especially 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 considering how the second game ends as far as the game is concerned as far as the series is concerned i don't want to rate both of these games individually because i feel like both games are just two different storytelling pieces in the same game what i mean by that is this game could have been both of these games could have been played together as one singular 10 to 15 hour experience let's go ahead and end up this video here today again final score for the little nightmare series 
it's an eight out of ten i would i would recommend the game if you're looking for something quick and scary to play and you're looking for something to get through that's not going to take you more than a day or two to complete thank you so very very much for tuning in to the video today i appreciate each and every one of you for coming out and listening to my opinions about the little nightmares please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one pandas peace out